Oilers TV playoffs presented by Sportcheck continues with Oilers alumni Rafi Torres and Fernando Pizzani, a couple of the heroes from the 06 run. Uh, Fernando, always good to see you. And uh, Rafi, welcome to uh, Oilers TV. Thanks a lot. All right. Um, last time we were here, no pressure for you, uh, Rafi, but uh, Fernando, George LaRock serenaded you with a little bit of ABBA. Uh, I take it you're not going to do the same today, Rafi. Uh, I don't think I am, but is he talking about the song after Fernie would score all the time? That's uh, the one, Something yeah. in the air, Fernando. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, we did it. We did it. Days, it. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it. Every time I think of Fernando, that song pops up. See, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. Uh, perfect way to start this segment. Rafi, for you, I know Fernando's around town. He's an Edmonton boy. For you coming back, uh, what's it been like so far? I know the, the trip's been brief, but what's it like coming back to oil country? It's been great. Um, it's nice to see a lot of old faces. Um, Got a chance to meet, uh, you know, with uh, Kevin Lowe and Dave Samantha to, uh, today, and we just, you know, shot the breeze a little bit, and uh, obviously Barry Stafford, and uh, it's just been great, to, uh, you know, to come back and see some old faces, and you know, obviously see, see around the town where I used to run around with my with my head cut off a couple of times. Uh, so it's nice to be back. <laughs> Fernando, uh, what have you made of uh, this uh, atmosphere around the city this time around thus far? Being the Edmonton guy here. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's it's funny watching now um, from a fan perspective. As uh, when Raf and I were playing, it was a different perspective. We saw we we tried to shelter ourselves from uh, the outside world, uh, so to speak. And now that we kind of can see it, and uh, it's it's been a lot of fun and seeing how crazy and excited and uh, how how pumped everyone is to to watch playoff hockey again. Rafi, uh, what's it like watching the Oilers uh, in the postseason again since the last time? Uh, was 06 and you were part of that team you know what it brings back a, brings back a lot of great memories um you know i just remember the crowds and we, we got a chance to go to the pep uh, the pep rally today uh amazing you know these fans are they're electric they love the game you know they've they've gone through some uh, some tough years here so uh you know for me it's nice to be back at a time like this um where the fans are involved and they're ready to go and you know we hopefully we can get a good game tonight what do you remember from that run uh, specifically when you look back and reflect i know fernando mentioned because uh, we've had him on a few times uh having a, an oil derrick um put on his front lawn during that postseason did you have anything crazy happen like that or do you remember any stories from 06 you know what? I remember the after uh, beating Detroit, uh, White Ave just shutting down, and it was just turned into a big party. And uh, you know, they shut down the streets, and people having a great time. And at that point, I think we went that we went by there after just for you know to, to celebrate the win. And you know, next thing you know, like high five. I've been I was high fiving people till like three in the morning, and uh, you know, talking to you know talking about people. Everyone's talking. Let, giving us tips on the power play and stuff it was it was awesome you know well there's 500,000 uh, coaches in yeah exactly you know uh, but you got to respect that you know I think um, like I said this this town has gone through some tough times and you know for us to uh, you know to be back here at a time like this I think it's great Fernando what was that team uh, like for you back in 06 uh, you know what it was a uh, it was a great team to be a part of just because um, the the battle that we had to go throughout all year to, to get into the playoffs and uh, once we got in, it was kind of uh, it was kind of like a monkey off our back, so to speak, and that's it. we just played very loose and very like there was no no pressure on us to go out there and play. And um, you know, Rafi was instrumental in that playoff run. Mike Pex was was really good. Prongs, Jason Smith, like you go through the list of guys that all played so hard. And the biggest thing is we played for each other, and we didn't want to let each other down. And um, that's how we approached every single game in that playoff run. And, you know, you go in that dressing room, you come very good friends with guys and you get them close and you know their families. And uh, the biggest thing for us was just we didn't want to let each other down. And that's how we played. Uh, let's look at uh, the second round against San Jose. You guys drop the first two games and come back and win four straight. Rafi, in your eyes, uh, when did that series change? Because I'll say Ryan Smith and Dwayne Rolison both pointed to the hit you laid on Milan McCulloch saying that's kind of where the momentum swung in the Oilers' favor. What, what, what do you see from that? I think as a young guy, um, you know, I was just always trying to bring a lot of energy uh, to, to each and every game. So I know we were down one nothing in that series, and things weren't going too well in game two. But I just trying to went out there and just, uh, you know, get the, you know, get back and get involved. You know, my dad always said uh, to go out there and get involved, get your nose dirty, and uh, you know, work your hardest. So I went out there, was able to lay a big hit. Um, and we just went from there. I think uh, after that, so you could feel like a, a tilt in the ice at some point. And then, uh, you know, obviously Horkoff the next night with a big uh, OT winner. It was uh, it was great. Your take on uh, the San Jose series, Fernando? 
Yeah, you know, we came from a, a series that was kind of a, a chess game playing Detroit, and we were kind of sitting back a little bit, and, um, and, and they were a team that was a very good puck possession team. And then we went into San Jose where they were coming at us and coming at us hard, and they were finishing their checks. It was just a much more of a physical series. And then once, um, you know, once Raf made that big hit, it kind of settled things down and the whole momentum shifted. And then we came back home and uh, we just started playing like, like we can. And that's kind of, I think, how everything shifted for us. OK, uh, fast forward 11 years. Uh, start with you, Rafi. From what you've seen in this series, what have you noticed about it? Because it's been a, a back and forth battle, essentially. Yeah, it has. You know what? There's two really good teams going at it right now. Um, obviously, uh, the Sharks have a lot of, uh, you know, they have the, the, sorry, what do you call it? The, they've been around for a while. Yep. They, they, the, the experience factor. The experience factor. factor. Yep. They've, uh, you know, they've been here. They know what it takes to win. they got a lot of veteran presence out there is big time. And they're well coached, you know. But I think with, uh, I've, I've been, been able to coach with McCullough, been on the, coaching side of McClellan too so with him it's just a matter of uh, you know just sticking to what he teaches you out there what you know stick to the game plan and um, you know I think the Oilers could, could uh, should be all right you want to make a prediction on tonight guys what are we going to see you don't have to say final <laughs> score but what are we going to see tonight in this well, game? I, I think you know you're going to see a much better obviously a much better Oilers team coming out and uh, I think a more disciplined team and it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough tight game and that's what playoff hockey is Rafi, what are you yeah, looking for? I think you got to come out and you got to come after uh, San Jose. You know, you can't let them get comfortable. Uh, stay out of the box. I think will be huge for the Oilers. Uh, San Jose's got a dangerous power play, uh, but for the most part, I'm looking for guys like Lucic and Maroon, kind of guys to step up and get get involved. Um, you know, I played against Lucic in uh, in the Stanley Cup final sometimes. This, this guy, this guy is dangerous out yeah. there. He's mean. He's he does. He's got the total package. I got a lot of respect for him as a player. So I know we'll see what happens. Rafi Torres, Fernando Pisani, uh, a pleasure, guys. Enjoy the game tonight. All right, thanks a, thanks a lot. All right, that does it for Oilers TV presented by Sportcheck Pregame. I've got you covered post-game live tonight following Sharks and Oilers Game 5.